So this work is about genetic susceptibility in childhood acute myeloid leukemia. And it's based on the fact that some environmental exposures were associated with childhood AML. And we know that those environmental toxicants need to be metabolized by several enzymes in our body. And those enzymes are polymorphic. And because of that, we have um, different ways of metabolizing those substances among the individuals, so it, which means that there are different genetic susceptibilities among individuals. And so this work is based on, the, on this fact, and so we choose some genetic polymorphisms that are in benzene pathway because we know that benzene is carcinogenic to humans and causes AML and other hematological disorders. So we choose to, to pick this pathway to study. Um, we found that EPHX1 NQ01 and GSTM1, GSTT1 polymorphisms were associated with childhood AML risk in our study, mainly with some specific AML subtypes, which were CBF beta, MYH11, and APL, promyelocytic leukemia, and also FLIT3 mutations, AML with FLIT3 mutations. Oh, the conclusion is that genetic susceptibility pl plays an important role on AML's risk in children in our population, and which is it. This study is very important because there are very few studies about genetic susceptibility in AML. The most are regarding ALL, which is the most frequent subtype of leukemia in children. And so this is important because of the um, uh, because of the, the few information about regarding this subject in AML. And is this, particular, this is particularly useful for our population. Incidence rates of AML, of childhood AML in Brazil, are slightly higher than high-income countries like the USA or some, uh, the majority of countries here in Europe. And so those, though this genetic background could be one of the the answers of why our incidence rates of AML are, are, the, are this different from other countries. Oh.